my colleague, Jordan Peterson, is being investigated by the Ontario College of Psychologists. And he's being investigated by them. He's being threatened by them. They are suggesting that they might take away his license to practice psychology because Jordan tweeted against political correctness, basically. He, he announced the other day that the Ontario College of Psychologists has demanded that he submit himself to mandatory social media communication retraining at, with their experts for, among other crimes, retweeting the Canadian conservative leader and criticizing Justin Trudeau, the big lib who's running Canada, and some people are saying the son of Fidel Castro. I would never suggest such a thing. Uh, because he did that, because Jordan has tweeted in support of the conservatives against the liberals, they, they want him to be re-educated. They want to send him to a re-education camp, or, he says, he will face an in-person tribunal and suspension of his right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist. Preposterous, of course. Now, they're not going to destroy Jordan Peterson's career. <laughs> Jordan Peterson will be just fine. He's not going to starve if they take away his license to practice psychology. But on people who don't have multi-million best-selling books and world tours and shows and movies and all the rest of it, this kind of power, the power of credentialism, could destroy somebody's life and career. Some of you, maybe many of you listening to this show today, have very possibly faced this kind of question, especially during COVID. Even, even outside of COVID, though, if you don't say the right thing, if you don't do the right thing, then you're going to be blackballed from your job. Then the licensing or credentialing organization, they're not going to give you your license. Then the university is not going to give you what has become the basic credential of operating in our, our liberal culture. You need to have the four-year college degree. What do you need to have learned? Nothing. What, what, what skills you need to have acquired? Absolutely none. But you need to have that credential or you're not allowed to be admitted to the very special club to work in all the fancy jobs in our culture. It's a problem of credentialism. Now, it, it, this underlines a, a movement that you have seen for a long time on the American right, which is that we have, every day that passes, less and less respect for these kinds of credentials. This was not always the case. This is actually a trend that is going on. And people call it populism, and people call it anti-intellectualism. It, it, it's not that. It's not our fault. It's not the conservatives' fault. It is the fault of the people who dole out the credentials for squandering their own credibility. It's not, not my fault that a Harvard degree or a Yale degree or a Stanford degree doesn't mean what it used to mean. 50, 70 years ago, the New York Times used to report on the outcomes of Yale Political Union undergraduate debates. Today, at the Yale Political Union and similar sorts of debating societies, students will whine and cry and throw a hissy fit if Kristen Wagoner, a pro-life, pro-religious freedom lawyer, shows up and explains the law. In fact, actually, I want to be fair, it wasn't the Yale Political Union where that incident occurred. It was at the Yale Law School. This was graduate students. This was the professional students who were supposed to be lawyers, whining, crying, basically throwing a riot because someone has a different opinion. It's not the fault of the conservatives now who mock all of the elite credentials. It's the fault of the elite institutions, which have squandered all of their own credibility. And I, I, right now we're at this, this difficult point where people are getting squeezed because the credentials still kind of matter. There is still some power in them, but people know it's all kind of hollow and bogus, but it still sort of matters. I very much look forward to the day where a psychologist will not need the approval of the Ontario College of Psychologists who are, who are have revealed themselves to be nothing more than a leftist activist organization to practice psychology or of, of any of these other gatekeeping institutions that have been totally captured by the left that have, that have crawled in like invasion of the body snatchers 
hollowed out the guts of what these institutions used to be, and now they're walking around pretending that they still have authority. They don't. We, the only way out is through. There, there's no going back to those good old days. Okay, you, the the only way that you're going to achieve good old days, good new days rather, is by by pushing through and saying, "Screw it. Who cares? Who cares what the Ontario College of Psych? If I want to talk to Jordan Peterson and have him try to fix my brain, I'm going to do it whether the Ontario College of Psychologists wants to or not. And and the Canadian government wants to come after him for doing that. Well, maybe it's time that we have a little less respect for the Canadian government and all of these other liberal totalitarians who who want to who who want to banish any sense of reason and tradition and normal life from our society. We are heading over to the member block right now, so do not go anywhere unless you're not a Daily Wire member. Then you've got to head on over to dailywire.com right now. Subscribe, become a member. We'll see you over at the member block.